it's interesting to see that even a company like Microsoft would create an open source project and then would forget about it. Few months back when this project was launched on GitHub and it was in very very early stages, I was quite hopeful that this might turn out to be something like Graphrag which was also uh, something which that came from Microsoft and that still is very much relevant and really something to use. But this project Pike Rag doesn't seem to be going anywhere which is a shame really because not only the implementation is quite hard but also there is no concrete use case which I could foresee at the moment. But still because I believe that the concept, the underlying concept behind this project is quite nifty and if Microsoft takes it seriously or if you are looking to do some project in terms of AI you might be able to just take this project because it is an MIT license open source and then you might be built on top of it if you're looking for a startup idea or for some open source project anyway so in this video i'm going to explain it to you what exactly this spike rag is we are going to install it locally and then i will also show you a demo as how it runs and then we will also lament together why microsoft is not really pursuing with it so first let's try to understand in very very simple words what exactly this project is Pike RAG stands for Specialized Knowledge and Rational Augmented Generation. It is an approach to Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG. RAG or Regular RAG methods improve large language models by retrieving external documents to provide context for, I would say, generated answer. But standard methods can struggle when dealing with specialized complex domain knowledge like medical or industry specific data and have limited logical reasoning capabilities and that is where I believe this project could be of great help and that is why I think that Microsoft or anyone else must pursue it. Anyway, so compared to traditional RAG, Pike RAG specifically focuses on deeply integrating specialized domain knowledge and structured logical reasoning directly into its retrieval and generation pipeline. Traditional RAG usually relies on general semantic embeddings which may fail to properly handle professional terminologies, aliases or domain specific logic. In contrast, Pike RAG introduces mechanisms like context aware document segmentation, fine grained term alignment, multi level knowledge organization and explicit logical reasoning modules. As you can see on your screen and this enables far more accurate retrieval and reliable reasoning in complex professional scenarios. For instance, if you take um, in terms of practical applications like healthcare or manufacturing, Pike RAG breaks down complex problems into simpler subtasks. It retrieves highly relevant and precise knowledge from specialized sources and applies multi-step logic to reason through these smaller tasks. As a result, it significantly improves the accuracy and reliability of generated answers in complex scenarios and that is also evident in these pipelines as you can see. Also another cool thing uh, is that empirical evaluations on challenging benchmarks which they have also shared in their repo and I will drop the link to it in video description like Hot, Hot Pot QA and Music show that Pike RAG has achieved outstanding performance in various complex multi-step reasoning tasks but again yet to see it in fruition anyway. So let me show you how you can get it installed and then we will go from there. Before that let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices you will find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon of 50%. This is my Ubuntu system and though I'm not going to use this NVIDIA's GPU card courtesy masked compute um, because I'll be using OpenAI's model through Azure and that is again a huge huge handicap. You can't even use the OpenAI's model directly that is a shame. You would have to tinker with code and you have to do a lot of things. Forget about local models from LM Studio, Llama.cpp or Olama. Anyway, so let me create a virtual environment with Conda. So make sure that you have Azure Tenant, Azure subscription and you have access to uh, Azure AI in order to use it if you are following along. 
so my conda environment is created now let me git clone the repo of this spike rack and as i said i will drop the link to it in video description as i will be using one of their own demos so not only i am going to install the requirements from here and then also the requirements from the examples and while it installs all of this stuff let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and it has taken around five minutes to install everything under the sun let me clear the screen next up let's create these directories so pycrack and then env configs and then we need to cd into it and the reason why we need to create this is to set our environment and i have seeded into it let's create an environment file here let me open it in my vs code and then i will show you what needs to be done so i'll just say yes trust it and then open this let me make it a bit bigger and now in this environment variable file you need to set your <clears throat> azure configuration so you would need to log in through azure cli you would need to put your own endpoint through azure and then you can just keep the api type and version as is so uh, let me put it in my azure stuff here and then i will save it and exit let me do that and that is done now let's go back to our root of the repo and then i will and from the root of the repo let me open my vs code again now one thing they have done is and my apologies for this pop up is a new vm anyway so this is a pycrack uh, repo in that repo you'll see there is an example folder in this example folder i'm just going to use this qa one it has some electric vehicle stuff and that sort of examples now um, you could either use their this yaml file or you could create a new one so i'm just going to create a new one for qa.yaml because i have tried uh, using it with this one it gives a lot of errors while launching so i'm not going to go with this one so i'm going to create a new one so if you as i said this is just an evaluation where it runs it where you can check decomposition and a lot of other things which i will show you in the web browser once we run it and this is where this project really starts falling apart because uh, if you try to mold it as per your own use case as per your own data you would just uh, you know spend hours and hours and then you will give up and that is where i think microsoft has dropped the ball the examples work fine but as long as soon as you start customizing it per your own data it doesn't work and that is where i think there is a great opportunity for anyone looking for a project or a startup to build upon it this could be a bigger thing than uh, graph rag that is my opinion and uh, i might be totally wrong anyway so let me go back to the root of the repo and from there i'm just going to create a new yaml file i'm just going to call it uh, qa.yaml and then i believe it should already be opened in my uh, it should be there there go i could also even have created it from here but that is fine now here you need to put in these values and i have, it has taken me around 4 hours to figure out these of values which i'm going to paste if it would let me sorry so let me paste it again there you go so and again um, this is as per your own use case i'm just giving it what sort of experiment i want to run and then if i want to run any tests or not where the logs will be stored and all that stuff and then this is a, a workflow which they provide um, built in and this is a model you can change it to gpt4 o or whatever and it should work i'm just going to change it to gpt4 o before i run it and then these are some of the hyperparameters which you can set i'm just going to keep them as is okay so this is a yaml file you which you need to create at the root of the repo so this is what you need to set here let me close it and then let me clear it and show you how to run this thing so from the root of the repo run this command 
So what this command is going to do, it is go to, going to run the QA demo with electric vehicles and stuff on your uh, in the browser with the help of this YAML file. So let me run this and access it in the browser. And once you run in the browser, this is something it looks like where um, on the uh, under the QA selection which the QA.py was, there are few questions and there is a ground truth and then you select it from here and as soon as you and there are a lot of other questions which are uh, which you can ask from the documents or the data set which they already have provided and this is just pre-populated from their system and then from there um, you can for example just uh, select it and it is going to populate it after some time you can even toggle it on like show supporting facts meta if you like and but i'll show you shortly but if you just scroll down you will see that these are the final answer and this is this is the rational thing which is different about it as why exactly it has gone with this thing and then it provides you some context some atomic questions around it which you can further uh, check it out and then uh, if you come down there are some other proposals that okay because it goes through multiple rounds in the application and then it is doing some proposal and all that stuff as per your document this is what it has retrieved and here we have some of the selection info and then again the rational which you can check to see if the rational is right or not and if you scroll up and if you just toggle it on you will see that uh, there is a meta 1 meta 2 and i think this is all coming from measure some full chunking and some other atomic questions which you can check out and same goes for the meta too so this is actually very very grounded i think the groundedness is even more robust than the graph rag but again uh, if you want to use your own document like i do with every of my video i don't see any option unless i just overall hold the code and that sort of stuff so hopefully someone can do it because the project at, at the repo side looks almost dead to me but just because it is quite promising and that is why i am covering it anyway that's pretty much it let me know what do you think about the project if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching